Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Alex and today I'm going to be showing you tips on how to become a build better builder in Bloxburg. So let's go right into the first one. So the first tip is don't make boxy houses. And what I mean by that, I usually see people with houses something like this. Like that's that's a boxy house. What you want to do is you want to go a little bit more out like something like that you know or my favorite is to do something like this this is this is my favorite i don't know i like it and then you can do something like this you know i don't know get creative there gonna be a party over here you know just get just get creative don't build boxy houses and it also makes the house a lot more realistic and it will be also be looking great instead of having a little box house like like this one like i would much rather prefer these two than this one like this is just ugly and these are too beautiful okay tip number two don't make your houses way too big and what i mean by that people would do something like this they will have a huge house and they could not decorate it because it's way too big you would go in here you would have like a bedroom over here you know look at that bedroom it's way too big there's a kitchen which is way too, like it's just just don't make your houses way too big make the houses smaller so there's going to be furniture like everywhere so it's going to be like full with furniture but instead of this there will be like no furniture in the house okay the next step is use the undo buttons so people when they are building they usually like to go and press g to delete stuff and they would you know they will lose money this way as i said in my previous video you want to undo because that will save your money it's basically free you can you can erase those snakes that you did and you can redo them again so use undo button not delete okay guys the next thing is to use grid sizes a lot of people don't use them because they may be you know like frustrating hues and just hard because you have to be very specific on where you want to place stuff like me over here that has to be very specific on where to place stuff and it will also just make your builds look very very nice and it will also make your builds really pretty and aesthetic looking which i like and then you can go in and you can color them later just do whatever just use the small grid size to be to have everything perfect and also i recommend you buying the advanced placement game pass which i have so i can merge stuff together like this plan with the table see how it goes in if i don't have it let me turn it off if i don't have it see i can't do that and i can't even place it near here because it is just way too close i have to be i have to do that and just this gap is just not pretty i'd rather have this where there's like a little little gap and then there's this which is just a big gap so buy the game pass if you would like to okay the next thing is use pillars and wall trims so about wall trims if you go in the build category there is this thing called wall trim so if you click that it will just make the walls a lot more detailed like look at this one for eight dollars look at that that just it's just that is just so much better you can do that and add, and add a little bit to the roof like look how much better that looks and you can add some windows and you're like perfectly done about pillars so if you are making a little house with something like that and you want to have like a little porch area like i am doing right now I'm making a little porch area because why not so let me just make it quickly so there you go you have your little porch area you can add some fences and stuff and there's going to be a roof over this thing so if you put only the roof it's gonna make the house look really really ugly especially in the front okay look at that that is just 
you don't want that like you don't want your house looking like this so if you have the advanced placement game pass you can go into build category and then click pillars and you can just decorate the house using some pillars i recommend placing the pillars before the porch because you won't be struggling like me but you get the point just add pillars to make it more pretty okay the next step is to use a floor plan before you build so you want a big house but you don't know what to put or something i would rather get a piece of paper or something and drew your house and make every single room before you build like like i want my little porch over here you know you get the point i like that and there could be the living room there could be the kitchen then you could have something like this there could be the bathroom and there could be the small bedroom you know you walk in you have you have your shoe racks and stuff where you can put your coat and then you have this little little li small living room with the tv like this is the perfect size home if you want to have it there's gonna be a little porch you can add the roof here add some little stairs and you're basically done just plan out everything before you actually build okay so next thing is you want to add different colors and textures into your house for like different sets of walls or something like that to make the house really pretty and also when you are building the house don't be like me that you want to color like only the bathroom and uh, this is what you get like you will have the whole wall paint or like this don't be like me just go one by one you see that just go one by one well not one by one just go like you know four by four and three by um two you know just just do that that will be a lot easier for you i will not be paying okay i mean i guess i can pay this so there's a lot of materials you just want to go and just paint them look at them just make the house look really pretty and the house itself it will look really pretty because of these textures i mean if you are speed building or something like that you i think you would have seen the um i think you would have seen the builder using different textures and color paint for like each wall i'm pretty sure you have seen that see look at that like the bathroom looks so much better already and there's nothing in it the floor isn't even colored and just looks so much better with these walls and you can have you, you can just add a lot of stuff in and it will make the house look really pretty like right now i think i want to add some wines because i don't know i think that just looks really pretty like look at that that's just pretty in my opinion obviously a lot of people have their own opinions on what is pretty and what is not for me this is pretty i like this you know this you can copy this it's whatever and not that big of a deal you can add your door here and you can have some shoe racks over maybe like here you know just something like this it's just gonna make the house more uplifting and welcoming also i see with a lot of um noob houses i'm gonna say with a lot of their houses their lighting is really really bad like i couldn't i can't stand their lighting first of all they their lights is like this you know which is just not acceptable you don't, you don't want to go inside and see these lights which is not like sensor and looking pretty you want to go in large grid or something like that large grid any grid and just place the lights so they match you know what i mean i don't know how to describe but look look how much better that looks like you know, one over here maybe two no just one like look how much better that looks but a lot of them they will use like five billion lights they will lose like 5 billion lights and look at that you can't even go inside you will go inside and you would become blind in like in seconds you don't want to do that what you want to use as your lights is 
is warm lighting so place your light and and start painting it so paint this this color linen that is a very nice color and you can paint this black any color i like black so it doesn't look m like much but trust me it's the best light out there since there was a light update so since there was a light update the lights if you if you all had if you all had this color the whitest color and you had many lights you would become blind in five seconds so just use warm lighting it's going to be a lot better and you can place as many warm lights as you want it's not going to hurt your eyes as soon as you walk in so use warm lighting it's gonna be really good okay the next thing is to use the stand tool also known as the clone so if so imagine that you have a really big big house and you want to add like a a bathroom but you don't want to color and start like all over again so you want to use the stamp tool also known as the clone tool you press c c you press c and then you will have this orange thing you know on every object that you do that you point your mouse at so you click the wall that you want to copy and then okay <laughs> you have to know like how it works like which way so i guess this way works and this way doesn't i guess i mean it's it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult but you'll get the hang of it so use the stamp tool or clone tool whatever you want to call it it's up to you and you know it's just so much easier to use like warm lighting you you don't have to place all the lights and then color them one by one because that's really annoying and you want to have you know just look how much better that is and it's going to be so much easier you know so just use the clone tool all right guys that's going to be it for my tips videos on how to become a better builder if you enjoy this video or will be using any tips please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe turn turn on post notifications so every time i post a new video you will get notified that's going to be it for this video bye listen here i don't like you i am